Hello guys, Lesnado here, and I was going to bring to you today some of uh, the Easter eggs that I've noticed in Man of Steel. Um, some of these are ones I noticed myself, some of them are just freaking obvious. Others, I've learned from other YouTube, uh, YouTube and internet and every, like a bunch of different stuff. But, um, as you can see, uh, this is my awesome cap shirt. They said... I could be anything, so I became a burrito. Yeah, it's a nice shirt. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. Alright, to start this off, we have the Wayne Enterprise logo on the satellite when you see Superman, um, fly up to space while fighting Zod. Now, um, this is a pretty cool Easter egg considering it's tying in Batman and um, Superman, which will lead to Batman vs. Superman in 2016, which is already confirmed, so, yes, yeah, I'm actually getting excited for that movie, but we'll get onto that later, but this is a pretty cool thing, and is, um, at the end, one of the end battles when Zod's fighting Superman, so if you, uh, happen to pause it at the right time, you can see right uh that there's a Wayne Enterprise logo. Next we have Star Labs and this is uh Star Labs is a place that created Cyborg, um, which is one of the Justice League characters, also a Teen Titan. Um now this is a pretty important Easter egg because uh this is indicating that uh Cyborg is gonna be created for the new Justice League movie. Um this guy also is uh, a Star Lab uh, doctor or worker? He works there, but uh, so you know he he's supposed to be like a ro worker that works on Cyborg when you know he needs it. Now this is one of my favorite ones. It is um the pod in the background when Superman first goes into uh, the Fortress of Solitude, um with that alien spaceship thing. Uh, you see a pot in the background open. Now, um, people don't know, a lot of people don't know what it is, but if you read the comic that you got, if you, uh, if got the, pre-ordered the advance tickets or bought the advance tickets or something from, like, Walmart, you got a comic book and it, um, had, um, Supergirl. And that, sh that ship that he's in is Supergirl's ship, or was. Now, this is indicating that all these other Kryptonians that were on the ship died, but one was open. Now, the obvious thing is, we're not going to think that it's going to be some uh, random Kryptonian because, you know, I don't think that Zack Snyder was going for that. So I'm thinking that it's a nod to say, hey, Supergirl's out there, hint, hint. So I thought it was pretty cool, but that's pretty much my favorite considering the fact that well, you know, it's Supergirl, and I didn't notice this until um, the second time I actually saw this in theaters, which was, I think, a day from the from the first time. Um, it, it was a pretty big deal when I first saw it in theaters, because, like, I waited for this movie to come out for a long time, but then the second time when I saw this, I was like, what? My brother pointed out to me. Okay, next is, um, this girl, her name is Ferris. She's the one that says, I think Superman's kind of hot. Well, um, she's actually, um, Star, um, Star Girl, I think it is. Um, I think that's what they call her, Star Girl. So, I don't know, she's a, a pink lantern corpse, and, uh, she is a Justice League character, and she is Hal Jordan's lover, if you saw the movie Green Lantern, which sucked! But anyway, she's supposed to be a little nod. Um, that, okay, for the next one is, uh, Blaze Comics. Now, what is Blaze Comics, you may ask? Well, they, um, are comic books industries that made Booster Gold, a uh, former DC, uh, superhero. Now, uh, this is just a nod, and, um... To Booster Goal, which, you know, saying, huh, you know what, he's a character. Now, um, you'll see this when the fight between Superman and Zod when they're coming together at the building. Next is, uh, right by that, that time, uh, is the Utopia Casino. 
um, which I actually discovered on my own, um, later to find out that other people found it. But it was weird, because I had, like, freeze-framed watching The Man of Steel, and, um, I had saw this, and it was like, you know, this looks suspicious. Um, so what I pretty much did was, I, um, checked it out. And, sure enough, it was. Okay, so this is, um, I don't know about this one. This is a little suspicious to me, but I guess I, I just wanted to throw it in here. It is, this is Darrell's suit. Um, Jarrell, you know, father of kal -El, the dude that you see, Russell Crowe, pretty much. And there's, it's a rumor that that was a bad man love it. Now, this one is pretty cool. I saw this on the internet, and I was like, what? Is this real? And I'm pretty sure it is. It's, it's the Keep Calm and Call Batman poster, which I guess is just like a little parody that, you know, people over, like, um... I don't know, Zack Snyder just was like, hey, look, we're going to put in this little nod to Batman. Yay, everybody's favorite superhero, Batman. No, not true. For me, it's Superman. That's why I'm watching this. I watched the movie. Okay, but the next one is the Sullivan's um, Auto Part Place or whatever it's called. And um, that's just a nod to uh, Chloe Sullivan, which uh, if you don't know who she is, um, in Smallville, which is um, a TV show that aired um early 2000s uh chloe sullivan was one of the main characters next is um this guy and uh why i took a picture of this or why i brought this picture up is because he, he says the word of the day is trident hint hint referring to aquaman is some to believe but yeah he did say the word of the day is trident so yeah next of all we got the lexcorp stuff and dang there's Three freaking LexCorp things, and, like, why do they have so many nods to this? I mean, like, is it going to be that big of a deal? I mean, that's more than Batman. And, like, Batman's going to be in the title of the next movie of uh, The Man of Steel. So, why they have these three, I don't know. First first one um is when they, you know, Lois drops Clark off, or drops off, uh, from police car, you know, it's got a LexCorp thing, or, second one, they see a tanker, the third one was in the trailer, which everybody saw, okay, so, this one, this is a little bit weird to me, for the fact is that, um, if you look at this, just, just take a close look, now, I don't know if this is true, but they're saying that they threw in an image of Christopher Reeve when he's, um, got that beam shooting at him, and he looks up, and he's, like, about to shoot up and destroy that, um, gravity thing, field destroyer thing, I forgot the name, sorry, it's been a while since I've seen it, like, yesterday, um, <laughs> now I want to talk about the Batman vs. Superman movie, which comes out in 2016, alright, so this is Gal Gadot, I think that's how you pronounce it, she's gonna be Wonder Woman, for the new Batman vs Superman movie. This is Jesse Eisenberg. A lot of people know who he is. He's going to be Lex Luthor. Hard to believe it. We'll see what happens. Jeremy Irons is going to be the um, new Alfred. Um, I don't know much about him. So yeah. Ben Affleck. Um, if you guys haven't known yet. Is going to be the official new Batman. Bruce Wayne. Whoa. So yeah. I um, hope you enjoy this. Enjoying the and, video. Um, um, so hope hopefully don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe because man, it took me a long time to find all these Easter eggs. Plus, I like Superman, so it's not that bad. You know, wasn't that bad at all. But you know, I had to look for all these freaking Easter eggs to put in this one video, and I'm getting new on YouTube. So if I'm a little bit bad, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm a I'm a noob. I'm a noob to YouTube. I mean, I've actually done YouTube before, but I was never good at it. But I'm trying to get better, because I've watched a lot of videos, and I'm learning. So I'm trying to get better, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos.